Hi folks, getting ready for the unveiling of the S1000 Double R. Here we go. I would clap, I've only got one hand. <laughs> right, so the red and the, the black models here um, are the S1000R Sport with a couple of additions. This Sport here, which you might not be able to see, probably not, has the full Akrapovic uh, system on it. Uh, billet brake levers. Woo. This model is the uh, S1000RR Sport, but with the M package. So in a minute, possibly in a different video mode so I can get closer. Oh, I might be able to do it here. We have the M carbon fiber wheels, which are redesigned for this year. They have a different weave in the construction, and as I understand it, thicker spokes for better um, shock absorption. And of course, the um, brakes here of the um, N1000RR. So a little look at the red one while we talk about some of the revisions to the 2023 model. I'll start with the chassis. The chassis is known by BMW as the uh, flex frame. So it is designed to flex somewhat to um, improve rider feel and um, sensor feedback. So they put more holes in the, in the chassis to make it a little bit more flexible. The steering angle has been increased from 23.1 to 23.6 degrees. Triple clamps, all the yokes have uh, been offset further out by three mil. And the wheelbase is I think uh, if I remember rightly 1457 millimeters now it's a little bit longer about 16 mil longer than the previous model last year's model for a bit more stability new for this year is that um, this model now comes with an adjustable swing on pivot even the cooking model the non-sport model believe it or not just in case you want to change your bike's handling characteristics before you go down to the shops BMW branded brakes on the front still, a bit hard to see, in fact, Brembo on the back, <laughs> you can see from the, the bike in the middle there, and of course the big addition is the winglets, adding 17.1 kilograms of downforce at 186 miles an hour. <laughs> I would like to find out what that feels like. Maybe one day. We have a, a new tail unit on the bike for this year with the ability to, I think, swap this for a GoPro mount, which would be quite handy. That'd be quite nice to have a rear view of all the motorbikes you've been overtaking on the track. The weight for uh, these models are essentially the same as last year's 197 kilos wet. Although if you opt for the forge wheels, you drop off about um, 1.6 kilos. But if you go for the carbon fiber wheels that the middle bike's wearing, you drop the, uh, the wet weight down to 193.5 kilos. While we're here, we'll, we'll talk about the engine. 210 metric horsepower now rated, because the bike revs a little bit higher than uh, last year, by 250 RPM. Peak power now arriving at 13,750 RPM and revving up to 14,600. <laughs> 113 newton meters of torque at 11,000 RPM, that's 83.3 foot pounds. The engine has gone through some revisions, inherited some technology from the M1000RR. Uh, we have a redesigned head. The intake ports have been uh, revised after uh, developments of the M1000RR. The ports themselves have a, a cast alloy surface rather than being milled as per the M model. There's your intake for the airbox. We have a new airbox with um, still variable length 
yeah. intake funnels, but they're shorter than before. Computer controlled. The torque hasn't changed. The uh, rear sprocket has gone up to 46 teeth instead of 45 for a little bit of extra uh, thrust on the road and on the track. I'm pleased to see that the fuel tank hasn't been reduced in capacity. It's still 16.5 liters. Not huge, but as you might know, in some of the more recent motorbike releases, tank size have gone down in the effort to reduce um, wet weight. And of course you get all the usual potential options with a BMW range, such as heated grips, cruise control, hill start control, all available as part of the, uh, the various packs that you can have on these bikes. Links to the configurator below in the description. One final thing to mention is the addition of rear wheel brake slide assist and DTC slide control. These require the riding modes pro option, which comes as standard on the sport model. This update is possible due to a new steering angle sensor being added to the electronic arsenal for 2023. I hope you enjoyed my close-up look at the new BMW S1000 RR for 2023. Thanks to Cotswold BMW Motorrad for the unveiling and for the coffee and cakes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below folks. And until the next video, take care of yourselves and each other. Ta-da!